Hey everybody, today I have got a home decor and DIY thrift haul to share with all of you, so let's get into it. So I thought it would be really fun to share some of my finds from this thrift store lately. I have been having so much fun going thrifting with my daughter and yeah, I found some interesting things and I wanted to share them all with you. I thought that maybe I would do a thrift haul with you once a month or it might be a home decor haul. I will keep up with my DIYs here on my channel, but I just for thought something fun and different to do here on my channel, I would do that for you all and let's get into this haul. So I found this bag and it is eyelet lace and it is like an antique cream color. I have actually got something really cool in mind for this and it's going to be going with something that I already have in my craft room here that I've been wanting to do up for a while so I can't wait to work on that project. There's eight pieces and they were a half a meter long each and they were $3.50 for this whole bag. I found these cute candlesticks and they are brass and ceramic and I thought they were just so beautiful. Uh, I already took the labels off or the price tags off. They are $1.50 each. I thought they were just so cute. Love these. I really like to collect artwork at the thrift store, so I'm always looking out for that. So I found this piece and it looks kind of like an English cobblestone road. And I love the village. And there's nothing important written on the back about it, but it was only a dollar and I'm going to change out the frame on this. So I've also been collecting some different containers for storage and I found this. This is ceramic and it's got this wood lid and I have a container like this already. I loved it. I did a really cool finish on this and I paid $2.99 for that. Okay, this next one I got ripped off and I didn't catch it until today while I'm filming this video. But it's this Heidi book. I got it because I thought it was just so beautiful and I thought it would be really pretty to have it on display. Even like the side here is gorgeous. The spine, $5.99, $5.99. Come on, Valley Village, really? It was originally $18. Canadian, but if I would have known that I was paying oh, like $6 for this book, I would have left it, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to return it at this point because Value Village is in another community from where I live. So, oh, well, you live and learn. <laughs> okay. So this next piece I thought was really cool. $2.99 for this exotic wood slice and it's quite thick. I love using stuff like this in my home decor. So very rustic feel to that. I found this and it is an actual art supply case. And I thought it was so cool. It's wood, it just needs to be cleaned up. It's even magnetized, which I thought was really cool. Love that this will be great for like pencils or different little art supplies like that. I also found this wood box. I thought this would be really cool to use as a shadow box, but it would also be really nice as a tray. And that was $1.99 and I really like the finish. I don't think I would change this out at all. $1.99 for a wood box that's already finished up for you. I think that was a great buy. So here's something else that I found for my craft room and it's this really cute little basket and it's got these latches on it. Now I did end up paying a little bit more for this. I got this at my local thrift store and it was $10, which was, I thought was a little high, but I really love this thrift shop and I thought it would be great to use for storage in my craft room. So excited about that. Yeah, I found this wood crate from Valley Village, $4.99 and it's got hand handles. Now the thing that I really liked about this was the fact that it was already beat up and worn and weathered. I love that. So I thought this would be great storage here in the craft room. 
Okay, so I also found this picture frame. This is like a Mexican picture frame. I picked it up from my local dollar store. Sorry. <laughs> my local thrift store. And it was only $3. And it's a good size. I love that. Very rustic. The only part I'm not sure about is the uh, trim right here. I'll probably remove that or paint it out. I'm not sure yet, but I just loved this rustic wood. Okay, so this next piece is an antique and it's a really cool piece. I know exactly where I'm going to be putting it in my home, but let me show you. It is a window frame. And as you can see, it's got some screening on it, but this is what it actually does slide. So it can be adjusted to fit any window in an old farmhouse. Isn't that cool? Love that. I have an old window that um, I hang on the wall and I thought this would look so cool right next to it. I don't know what I'm going to put on it. I don't know if I'm going to leave it as is or maybe put like a few little flowers on. I'm not sure, but isn't that just the coolest thing? I could <laughs> have fun with this all day. <laughs> okay, so I also stopped at Walmart with my oldest daughter and we picked up some plants. I wanted to share them with you. I think having some green plants in your home is so nice and it is still the middle of winter where I live. So I thought it would be really nice to bring some plants into the home. And I thought I'm going to do a few DIYs with these. So that's why I'm sharing them with you. But this particular plant is called a rattlesnake calathea. Yes, rattlesnake calathea. And it came in this really cool clay pot. And I just thought it so gorgeous. Now, apparently this isn't the easiest plant to take care of. So fingers crossed I can take care of it. We'll see. Okay, and then another one I found was this Peperomia. Isn't it cute? Now these things are really easy to take care of. So I thought I'm gonna try it out. I have never seen one like this before. Usually they're a bit bigger leaf or and not a vine. So apparently these are really easy to propagate as well. All you'd have to do is snip off at the vine there and then put it in water so um i thought i would do that for my daughter because she fell in love with this one as well and it's supposed to be very easy and doesn't need much light and it can get a little on the dry side so yeah, i can't wait to try this plant out and it came in this blue pot and i don't have any blue in my house except for my daughter's room so this will definitely be getting a makeover okay and then i got this fiddle leaf fern uh, fig fiddly fiddly fig anyways it's a dwarf and it says ficus bambino bambino little sunshine but i know it is a fiddle fiddle fiddly Ugh. why can't i remember the name <laughs> And again, it is actually supposed to be quite easy to take care of. A person just needs to be careful how they water it. I did notice that there was a bit of damage on the underside of some of the leaves. And so I looked it up and that is because it wasn't watered properly. So I am going to try and get that back under control. And I liked it because um, it is going to stay small and bushy. It's not going to grow into a tall tree. Um, even though I love the tall trees, they, those are gorgeous. But I don't know, I thought I would just start with the small one and see how I do. And if I do well with it, then I could graduate to the larger one. So I want to thank you all so much for being here with me today. I had fun and I hope you did too. Let me know what your favorite thing was down below in the comment section and any of the fun finds you have found in your thrift stores lately. We'll see you next one. Bye. Okay, and then I got this fiddle leaf fern. Uh, fig fiddle leaf. Fiddle leaf fig. Fiddle fiddle leaf? Ugh. Why can't I remember the name? <laughs>